Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some buttermilk biscuits. We're going to start with our flour mixture and we're going to sift it all together. So it's going to be two cups of all-purpose flour and then to those two cups of all-purpose flour, make sure uh, they are uh, leveled off so that you're not using too much flour. So level off your flour. Two cups of all-purpose flour and to that we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder as well as a half teaspoon of baking soda a half teaspoon of salt. We're going to sift all of that together before we add the rest of our dry ingredients. Um, I didn't say but we're going to start with about a medium sized mixing bowl. You don't need the mixer at all for this recipe. So a medium sized mixing bowl, we add all of that together. That's the baking powder, baking soda, and salt that we're adding to it. And then we're just going to sift all of that together in our medium sized mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add in um, one teaspoon of powdered butter. Yes, if you've been on my channel before, you know I love powdered butter. So after we get all of that sifted, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of powdered butter and then we're gonna whisk all of that together. Okay, I'm also gonna add one quarter of a cup of sugar. That's add, This is me adding in the butter. And now we're going to whisk all that together before we um, work on our milk mixture. So you get that whisked together and then we're going to put it to the side. And then we're going to work on our milk mixture, which is going to start with a fairly large size uh, measuring cup um, that's going to contain two and a quarter cups buttermilk. Two and a quarter cups buttermilk. And then we're going to add into that two beaten eggs. You want to go ahead and beat the eggs before you add it in. So two beaten eggs added to our two and a quarter cups of buttermilk. And we're also going to add in about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and about a teaspoon of butter vanilla emulsion. And then we're going to whisk that. And while we're whisking it, we are going to add in our melted butter, which is going to be four tablespoons of melted butter. Uh, I see mine's already started to separate here, but no worries. Just go ahead and add it all in while you're whisking. Okay. Once all of that is combined, then you're going to bring over your flour mixture again because we're going to add our milk mixture to our flour mixture. Um, I always make a little well. I'm not sure why because it's just it's all going to get mixed together, but I do it anyway. It's habit. So we're going to slowly pour in our uh, buttermilk mixture into our flour mixture. And like I said, we don't need a, a, a mixer for this. You don't even need a hand beater for this. You want to do all of this by hand um, because it actually is a pretty delicate mixture. So we're just going to try to fold it in together and then um, a little bit of stirring at the end. But you just really want to be gentle at this point and mix it all together. Um, this batter is a little bit looser than normal. Um, full disclosure, I ended up adding in some regular milk because I ran out of buttermilk. So this is going to be a little bit looser. Um, if you, but stick to the buttermilk recipe if you can. Um, and it's going to be just a little bit um, thicker once you do that, and that's okay. So you just want to make sure you get all of the, the flour mixture combined from the sides and from the bottom. So you just really want to combine it all, um, and then you're good to go. It's okay if the mixture is a little bit lumpy at the end. Super easy. And now all we're going to do is we are going to get ready to get our griddle nice and hot. Uh, of course, you can also use a frying pan, but I love making my pancakes on a griddle. So I'm going to pull out the griddle and get it nice and hot and um, start making some pancakes. All right, here's our griddle. We're just going to pour uh, two small size pancakes. And I love this batter because it usually stays fairly round. It gives me some perfectly round pancakes, so I like that. You're going to let your pancakes cook on one side until you start seeing the bubbles up here on the top. When you see the bubbles, it's time to flip. Give that a few more seconds, and you're done. And you have beautiful buttermilk pancakes. Enjoy. Enjoy. 